So this happened yesterday, smashed my phone, don't know if you can actually see it, but it, the whole screen is cracked and it doesn't work at all. And I feel a little bit lost. Can, can you hear that? I think it's about to kick off. These guys do not like each other. But Potato's here. Potato's here, aren't you? Hey. So yeah, back to the phone situation. This is not good. Um, I have looked after this phone so much for the last ha How long have I had this phone? Three years? More? Three years? Since, Austra since we were living in Australia, so a long time. And... It's, I mean, look look how good condition this phone is in, generally. Like, other than the fact now, I don't know if you can see, but the screen is, there you go, the screen is shattered. And yeah, apparently it's going to cost me about, definitely over a hundred pounds, UK. Um, say good morning. Good morning. All I wanted to say was that I've been abusing my phone for a few good months. She has. And my phone's fine. But someone has been taking care of his phone. <laughs> and literally like, with a case and everything. So basically what happened is, I did some shopping yesterday and I put this in the back of the, the motorbike under the seat. And it went in this way up. And the seat closed on top of it. And it was kind of wedged like this. And then I think I went over a bump and it went um, So yeah. Basically, it's going to cost me somewhere in the region of 100 to 150 pounds for a new screen on a three or four year old phone. And, or for like, let's, 200 pounds, I can get a new one. But my life is on this phone. All of my stuff is on this phone. Check this out. <laughs> it's a cool sunrise, isn't it? It is a cool sunrise. I don't know if you can really see it that well. So that's the sunrise situation anyway. Um, because it is... See, normally I would now check my phone and say it is whatever. It's about 6.30 in the morning and we're up for a nice early morning cardio session today. Today's rest day so I'm still going to be do, doing some cardio and then other than that, no weights or anything today. <sighs> what are we going to do today? We're meeting Ying. Meeting our friend Ying. And that's it. That sounds good. Work, that's good. Me, meeting Ying and doing some work today. I'm going to continue waking up now. People wonder why I choose to live in Thailand. All right, coffee done. Cardio time, let's go. Cardio session done, back home, breakfast time, and then it's going out to get this, this thing fixed. Eggs. Cardio was a pretty easy one today. It is my rest day, so I just tend to take it a little bit more easy. Literally all I did, I did a 10 minute light ab circuit this morning, uh, followed by 40 minutes of just constant heart rate cardio. Took my heart rate to about 120 beats per minute. Sorry about the truck going past. Uh, um, yeah, took the heart rate to about 120 uh, at a constant rate for about 40 minutes and that was, that was it. Today's rest day, I don't, I don't need to be putting my body through anything. And now I'm gonna enjoy my eggs, which, by the way, this stuff has been my savior 
this last few weeks. This one actually is a new one. I've never, I haven't, I just literally got this yesterday, the Buffalo style one. It's pretty good, uh, but Tabasco generally has been like, all right, so this is the current situation from sitting outside for 10 minutes. I don't know if you can quite see just how much I am sweating right now. You know it's hot outside when your wrists are sweating. Ugh. So I've just finished my eggs. As I've discussed before, um, immediately post cardio, I don't eat carbohydrates. Um, in order for your body to be in a prime fat burning state, insulin levels have to be low, carbohydrates make them high. So I'm just maximizing time. I still eat carbohydrates. I'm literally now about to have a bowl of oats. But what I do when I get home from my cardio session, I have my eggs first. I sit there for 15 minutes before I then go and make my oats. So then it's probably another 30 or 40 minutes from the time realistically probably closer to an hour from the time that I finish my cardio to the time that I actually eat those carbohydrates that is one hour extra that my body is is utilizing the low insulin levels and burning just a little bit more fat it is worth noting that your body will not burn any fat unless it is in a calorie deficit okay so it's no good just timing your carbohydrate intake if you're eating an extra thousand calories a day too much uh, because you're never going to lose that that body fat okay it's no good just timing those carbs like that you have to be in a caloric deficit and then it's just like I said it's personal preference I choose to maximize that time get that one hour extra but where my insulin levels are nice and low before I then have my carbs to to spike them back up again and, and then I'm back to normal. But I am in a calorie deficit as well. So with that, I'm gonna make some oats. I made some oats. By the way, I talk a lot about food and training and things, but I never really go into too much detail. You know, I'll usually just say, oh, I'm having some eggs, or I'm having some oats, or I'm having some whatever. Um, but one thing I want to make very clear that this is not all just guesswork, and there's one thing that is, well, there's one main thing that is the key to success when it comes to this competition. This right here. Every single thing that I eat gets weighed. Everything uh, throughout the day. So I, there is nothing, there is no extras, there is no little bits that I do not weigh, that I do not take note of. Everything, and I know I don't discuss it very much, but literally everything is written down. Every couple of days I send my entire diet through to Mikey. Um, for him to, to feed back to me on, on what I'm eating. And assuming, you know, assuming that my progress is still moving in the right direction, generally speaking, he won't have much feedback because the results are speaking for themselves, but everything gets tracked. There is no guesswork here. And I know sometimes it can look a little bit, it can look quite simple uh, that, oh yeah, you know, just have some eggs in the morning and some oats and just eat some chicken and rice or whatever, no. Not when it comes to competition. That's when things get a little bit more serious and every single thing gets weighed. So anyone out there that's looking to potentially compete, uh, no matter what it is, whether it's men's physique, whether it's bodybuilding, whatever, the most important thing, I think, to your arsenal is these right here. Another meal in the tank. Uh, that's third of today. And now we're going out to kind of enjoy this weather, also to get my phone fixed. Um, but it's super hot today. Like when I put my hand out in the sun, 
it, I can feel it just sizzling. Um, should be eating two o'clock today um, so uh, I've now got to cook my food and I'm probably gonna be eating about an hour late when you're on such a strict schedule with eating and especially when you're on a calorie deficit that 30 to 60 minutes can make a massive difference to the way that you feel um, I'm very much in need of food right now and this is one of the challenges of trying to live a life whilst prepping for a competition as well because things like this just can't happen because uh, it, it just completely screws with your day. So I'm now going to whip up some food. Uh, it's going to be a carb free meal now of broccoli, egg whites and chicken. And I'm hungry, really hungry. Okay. I've eaten. I am. Um, I'm feeling good. Better. Feeling better. Um, I don't know if you could sense from that last uh, that last little clip. I was getting on the edge there. Uh, feeling good now. We also went to the uh, the phone shop to ask about fixing my phone. It's going to cost about. 120 pounds uh, to fix the phone uh, and it's gonna take three days so I think I'm gonna buy a new phone and I need to work out I'm here I can't work out whether I can take all of my data from one phone and move it to another if anybody watching this knows the answer to this question can tell me whether I can do that, whether I can literally mirror my phone from one to another, uh, let me know. Everything that I've been doing pre-competition, I've been taking notes on that phone. And they are all there and I can't ac access any of them. Uh, so if there's any way to get that data, let me know. Dogs are here again. Hey dogs. Look at them, just just mooching on our balcony. Balcony's looking a bit gypsy again, sorry about that. I still need to get that closed line. But these guys seriously are just, just cluttering up the place. I love it really. Uh, it's like I get to have all the benefits of having a dog without any of the responsibility.
Not anymore. I got a new phone. For the record, I know nothing about this phone except for the fact that it has a massive battery in it, uh, which was like the major selling point for this phone for, for me. So uh, I'm gonna have a little play now and see if I can work out what it does. Yeah, it's a phone. Works just like a phone. Uh, does phony type stuff. Um, has like things on it, settings, buttons, and stuff. It's it's fine. It's fine. All right. So today's been a little bit all over the place, zooming around, fixing phones and things. Oh, hey, potato. Potato's here. Um. <laughs> But uh, now it's getting late and uh, I've got to get back to some work. So I'm leaving it there. Uh, if you enjoyed the vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like and pop a comment in the section below. So as always, I'll see you next time.